In the geometry step, we will define the domain over which we want to solve our governing equations. As we saw in the pre-analysis, the domain is a rectangle because of the axisymmetric assumption. If I go back to uh, a slide from the pre-analysis where I discussed the domain, uh, we saw that the height of the rectangle has to be equal to the radius of the pipe. The diameter is 0.12 meters, so the radius is half of that. The length of the rectangle has to be equal to the length of the pipe, um, L1 plus L2, L1 being the unheated and L2 being the heated length. And if you look over here, L1 plus L2 is 15 meters. So we need to create a rectangle of length 15 meters and height 0.06 meters. Let's do that in space claim. If I come here and start workbench, and I will start workbench 18.2. Once workbench comes up, I will go under analysis systems and select fluid flow fluent and drag it into the project page. I'll rename the tutorial. You can give it any suitable name um, or rename the project. I'll call it tutorial. And then right click on geometry and select properties. And on, under analysis type, select 2D. It's very important you do this right at the start because halfway through if you switch, uh, it doesn't accept it and you'll have to uh, basically start from scratch and that can be frustrating and you'll pull out your hair and you'll start looking like me, which is probably not something you're aspiring to. And in the process of setting this to 2D and, and you know setting the analysis system to fluid flow fluent, we've given it important clues about the governing equations. I'll get to that later. Okay, I'll dismiss that. And then right click on geometry, select new space claim geometry. You can see starting space claim over here. Once space claim comes up, I can close out of here. I'll go under File, Space Claim Options. Under Units, I will select Meters and say OK. And then I will go, I'll say, um, select New Sketch Plane. And I can move the cursor until, you know, I can select, I have to move the cursor to the upper right and it will select the XY plane. And then I'll say look at plane. And you can see, you know, and now you're looking at the XY plane. Now if you can't do the sketch on any other plane, geometry won't attach. So it's very important that you're sketching on the XY plane. And then I will select the rectangle tool in, in the sketch toolbar. And I'll, as I come over here, it says snapping to curve center over here. Okay, so make sure it's snapping to curve center. That'll make sure that the lower left corner of the rectangle is at the origin. Draw an approximate rectangle and hit the space bar. That'll freeze the dimensions. So the length needs to be 15. I'll say 15 and then hit the tab. And then for the height, I need 0.06, and then I can say enter. Okay, and then if I click escape, uh, I can come into the 3D mode, and I can say zoom extends, and I have my, my rectangle. And you can see it's a long, skinny rectangle because you have a long pipe. And then um, we need to split the um, the upper edge into two parts because we have L1 and L2 uh, so that we can apply uh, separate boundary conditions. So let's do that. So this is, on, this is to apply the boundary conditions. So I'll say split and I don't want to split a face. I want to split an edge. So I'll select that. Then I'll come over here and I'll click on the upper edge. Once I do that and I start moving this point along the edge, I'll get the dimensions. And again, I will hit the space bar. And that'll freeze the dimensions. And I have to hit the tab a couple of times. And then I can select this particular field. Um, 
to be. So let me do that again. And um, that has to be six meters. And if I hit escape, escape, um, I can see that, okay, my upper edge is split into two. So that'll be L1 and that'll be L2. It turns out it's a good idea to also split the lower edge, even though we have only one boundary condition there. That's to get a regular mesh. So let's do that. So again, I'll go to uh, split. Now select, I'll say split edges, select the lower edge, move it along, uh, hit space bar, hit tab a couple of times, and then select six. Hit enter, and then escape, escape. And I should see that it's been um, split into, um, you know, it's, it's been split in two parts, both the upper and lower. That's all there is to the geometry. So I'll say file, exit space claim. 